And now to the sentencing trial of the Parkland shooter. Family members of the victims unable to hold back tears during day seven of testimony. CBS 4's Nicole Lauren joins us live. And Nicole, the first witness today was the man who sold Nicholas Cruz the AR-15. Yeah, that's right, Maribel. His name is Michael Morrison of Sunrise Tactical, and that is where Cruz purchased that AR-15. Now, the state questioned Morrison about the process of purchasing a firearm like that one, and Morrison stressed they always look for red flags. And did you uh, in engage that conversation with Nicholas Cruz? I had a brief conversation, I believe, on pickup, as I stated in my deposition. I came out and asked him. What are you going to do with the rifle? And the reply was, I go shooting with my friends on the weekends. I just want my own stuff. And take a look at this. This is one of the forms Cruz filled out. One of the requirements to purchase a rifle at that time was to be 18 years of age. Days after the massacre, it was changed to 21. The rifle Cruz purchased also held up in court. Morrison noting that Cruz modified the weapon after the purchase. After that, chief medical examiner for the Broward County took the stand. She was shown evidence photos of victims, including students Alex Schachter and Alyssa Alhadef, as well as teachers Scott Beagle. Alex Schachter's dad held his head in his hands, sobbing as his 14-year-old son's gunshot wounds were read aloud. This is the projectile fragment that was recovered from the back. Okay. And uh, the cause of death uh, of Alex Schachter? It's multiple gunshot wounds. Now, we do know the judge is going to do a walkthrough of the 1200 building where the massacre took place a day before the jury goes inside, still unsure as to when that is going to take place. We're live inside the Broward County Courthouse. Nicole Lauren, CBS 4 News. Alyssa, uh, Nicole, thank you. So difficult. And CBS News Miami is streaming the proceedings unedited gavel to gavel all week. You can watch CBS News Miami on Pluto TV, CBSMiami.com, and the CBS News app.